I'm here, officially. Hi, friends, how's it going? Also, yeah, this game counts as a rhythm music game because there's a whole rhythm music, uh, the mini game. It's great. Where the fuck did Discord go? I need to be able to hear Emmy and have Emmy hear me. Hi, Emmy. You do see a Jody. There's a Jody back there? <laughs> How's it going, friends? How are you doing? Um, how loud is the music, by the way? I audio checked literally everything except for Spotify, um, so that's fun. <laughs> Seems fine. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, also, not at all. Is that is that towards the rhythm music game thing? Cause it it's it's got a rhythm music mini game. That's a thing. <laughs> Music, you can't hear it. Oh, dang. Okay. What the heck? What the heck? Um. All right. Well, that's good to know. I'll have it fixed for tomorrow. Maybe. Probably. It doesn't matter. It's going to go away anyway. Allie, is it just your computer that hates us? I think it's just your computer that hates us. <laughs> Fair, but still, at least have the background noise so you know what's going on, right? Right? Oh, it's a different computer. Okay, well, maybe every electronic you own just hates my stream specifically. I don't know. I don't know. Allie, I love you and I miss you and I'm sorry that you're not here and I wish you were, but you're not, but I wish you were. But finance Thank reports you. are important. Also, hi, Emmy. You got this, Allie. <laughs> I forgot that you weren't muted anymore. It scared me. It spooked me. I wasn't prepared. Ooh. <laughs> ah, spook. Oh, that's the wrong place. That's what I want. I needed the game up. Um. Hi, Ella. Hello, friends. I got Emmy with me. We're gonna I'm do some more. I'm still recovering from being sick, so I probably sound a bit weird. You but sound fine. I'm here. You sound fine. You sound fine. But yeah, we're gonna do more Don Gom Rumpa, and I'm excited about it. Um, I'm trying to think of what happened last time. We finished chapter one. We got to hang out with some of our friends. Nagito's tied up in the abandoned building because why not? Um, Monokuma's given us a second motive, and it is a video game that we played very briefly, um, forcibly briefly because it's only like half the dang game um and it's fine <laughs> good 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 try Ella. sorry we're in the spoiler territory but uh yeah good i think that's about morning, it morning everyone looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day oh yeah fuyuhiko made it sound like um I think Fuyuhiko played the game. He had a he had an envelope well, then, and was telling us off about not being prepared about stuff, you know. Sure also, this today. is where I want to be for my camera. Oh gosh, everything's off center. It's great. I love it. This way. Nope, that's the wrong way. This way. You're gonna be kind of in frame, Jody. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Am I over here? No. Your feet. Can you see my face? There's. I can see just a sliver, a sliver of your face right here, right here. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we're ready. Let's uh it's gonna be another beautiful day. I gotta remember all the voices that I did for these people. It's been a couple weeks. Whew. Morning, huh? In the end that game is still a mystery. I don't even know why it would be a motive. I should just bite the bullet and try discussing it with everyone. I guess I should have head over to the restaurant. Also remembering controls. Is the game too quiet for folks? It shouldn't be. It should be fine. If not, we'll turn it up. Hi, Buki. I'm I'm ignoring you. <laughs> How dare. I'm sorry. It looks like it's too quiet, so I'm gonna turn it up just a smidge. Yeah, I would tell okay. you if I was listening to stream. Yeah. Good morning, Hajime. That looks better. Yeah, good morning. After greeting everyone, 
And by everyone, we mean Sonia. I put some food on my plate. And she is everyone. Right. And sat myself at a table near the window. Oh, it's a smidge quiet. Okay. Turn it up. Just a bit more. Do the lurky lurks. Also, finish this game so you can not be spoiled anymore. <laughs> Yo! What is it, Hajime? Is that all you're gonna eat? What? You just eat too much, Akane. You. You're one to talk. All you eat is candy. Why? Just because it's candy doesn't mean you should make fun of it. These gummies have four different fruit flavors, so I'm sure they're full of nutrients. Like? You should just eat real fruit. This seems like a bad time to bring up that game all of a sudden. I mean, we did agree before that we shouldn't even play it. Let me tell you this. Is Mahiru missing? Hmm? After Gundam said that, I looked around the restaurant, and sure enough, there was no sign of Mahiru. <clears throat> she's always here every morning. It's strange for her not to come. Um, I wonder if she's not feeling well. Maybe. If she just, just doesn't feel good, that's fine. But there's a small chance that she's... What the? A sm small chance she's what? Um, um, I saw Mahiru. She was outside the hotel. <laughs> uh, oh, I see. Jeez. Jeez, don't say such spooky things. Let's go. As punishment, how about you run around in a circle three times, say woof, and jump off a cliff? <sighs> I, I don't want to die like that. Hey, hey! But what was Mihiro doing outside the hotel? Yo. She said she wanted to be alone. I even asked her to come eat with us, but she turned it down. What? Wanted to be alone? Um, maybe she's planning to play that game. Shut up! What are you saying, pig barf? There's no way Mahiro would play video games. She's not like that slowpoke gamer girl over there. <laughs> huh? Uh, were you referring to me? My baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pink barf, aren't I? It's like, it's gonna be impossible to start talking about the game. And while I was lost in thought, someone quietly sat down across from me at the table. Yo! Hey, Hajime, got a second? What is it? Kazuichi leaned forward out of his seat, glanced quickly around the room, and whispered to me. Yeah. Today, 2.30pm, come to the supermarket, but don't tell anyone else about it. Hmm? I'll tell you the details later. Everyone else can come, uh, can see us right now. It's bad. What does he mean it's bad? Fiend. Hey, what are you lowly creatures discussing amongst yourselves? Well... N nothing! It's got nothing to do with you, so just relax and go away. <laughs> Did you think I was worried about you, fiends? <laughs> you make me laugh. Laugh, I say! You've elevated arrogance to an art form. Shiver. What sort of supreme ruler feels concerned for the ants who are destined to be crushed? My name is Gundam Tanaka. <laughs> My name is Gundam Tanaka. I am the forbidden ruler who makes even the god of darkness flee in terror. Fall, my tears. Gundam is perfect, it's true. Also, games on games on games on games. We got games that are inside our video games, inside our video games, inside our video games. I don't... It's games on games on games, it's fine. All I desire is silence and indifference. Silence and indifference. His <laughs> sweet babies. I never took him for the lonely type. For now. Anyway, Hajime, that's what's happening, so I'll see you then. You know, right? Just so you know, make sure you conserve your energy. Hmm? Conserve my energy? <laughs> I'll see you later. What was that about? Don't worry about it, Hajime. You're just gonna get murdered. It's fine. Instead of talking about games, I received a strange request from Kazuichi, and that day's breakfast came to an end. I didn't update any of our stuff. Oh no, I've done it bad. Oh, uh, can you tell I've like, <laughs> am super frazzled today and haven't gotten anything done properly? It's all good. It's fine. It, it fine. It, it fine. It, it fine. All right, let's, oh boy. I've been so good about doing them the night before that I just forgot about it today. Whoopsies. 
All right, well, content warnings updated. And... Boop. Game link will be done in just a second. Sorry, y'all. I bet everyone just loves sitting here waiting for me to get this fixed. It's all good. <laughs> just chillin'. <laughs> You'll just sit there and enjoy it, Jody. <laughs> don't don't even worry about I can't it. I can't believe you've done this. I can. I can believe I've done this. Love. <laughs> you throw your tantrum. You enjoy that tantrum back there. <laughs> um, all right, everything should be back. Should be updated. The only thing that's like super duper important is that content warning. So there we go. I this salt emote is very good. <laughs> let's let's be clear about that. I like this salt emote. All right. Uh, but what did he mean when he told me to conserve my energy? Well, I guess I shouldn't wander too far right now. Is it free time already? <gasps> what? Okay. Who are we hanging out with? I don't know. Who have we hung out with? I guess is the better question. Everyone. No glomps, only stomps. We want to hang out with Mekon? We have hung out with Mekon once. Which doesn't mean we can't hang out with her again. But I'm trying to see. The only person that we haven't spent time with thus far who are alive <laughs> are Nagito, uh, Fuyuhiku, who I don't think will hang out with us. Um... Hey. Chiaki and Mahiru and Hyoko. We could hang out with Chiaki. Y'all want to go hang out with our sweet, sweet gamer girl? Yeah. Let's go hang out with Chiaki. Okay, where is she though? <laughs> Your sweet baby. She's hiding. She's in her room. Also, was that you making that noise or was that Devo? Okay, that was you then. <laughs> you sounded like Devo. <laughs> Chucky. We have two Devos now. Oh no, one is enough. Ding dong. Ding ding dong. Who is it? Oh, just your friendly neighborhood anime protagonist. Look Whoa. at her room. Look at all these systems! Whoa. Where did you get those? I also like how these games are the exact same, just a different color scheme. Yeah. <laughs> this is fine. They're Pokemon? Basically. I don't want to spend that much energy today, I think. I'd rather just sit still and read a book or something. What? <laughs> What should I do? Should I hang out with Chiaki? Hell yeah. Hey, hey. You wanna read too? Let's go to the <laughs> library together. Travis, we can't hang out with Greasy Child. And it's because he doesn't have a tombstone. That's the only thing that's stopping us from hanging out with uh, Teru Teru. Not the fact that he's, you know, dead or anything. Just the fact that he doesn't have a, a tombstone. <laughs> Spent time today reading with Chiaki. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. I would love to give her a present, but I don't care enough to do so. Wow. She's staring off into space again, as usual. Oh. Sorry. Ah, uh, sorry. I was just getting a little sleepy, or a little sleep. While you were standing? Impressive. Have you not been sleeping well? Hmm. Hmm. When I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping. Same. Sometimes I even forget to breathe. Not so much, but... <laughs> That's not good. Plus, I keep having nightmares. I had a bad dream the other day, so I've been a little scared. <laughs> Allie, that's one way to get a message through. <laughs> Can I ask what kind of dream you had? Well, it was a dream about Trio the Punch. Huh? Um, the 
the statue at Jabberwock Island changed into a bald old man with a thin mustache. Sounds miserable. It's probably because that game also takes place on a tropical island. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more the situation feels like that bizarre action game. We might uh, eventually end up turning into sheep. What kind of game? Trio the Punch is a game, right? What kind of game is it? More yeah. important- Oh. It's Hajime. <laughs> It went from blue to white. It's true, it's true. More importantly, you must really enjoy games, huh, Chiaki? Mm. Hmm, how should I put it? I like it, but gaming is my life. Or maybe life is just a game? Por que no los dos? But still, either way, that's all the more reason why killings shouldn't be allowed. It's not a game if you're not having fun. It doesn't mean anything if you just focus on winning or losing. You're right. It doesn't mean games always have to have happy endings, but you should get something out of beating them. There might be weird games here or there, but there are always ways of enjoying those, too. Facts! <laughs> That's why bizarre games are fun. You can beat them as long as you do your very best. As expected of the ultimate gamer, I would probably just give up on a game like that. Um, but to tell you the truth, there's one type of game that I'm not really good at. I see. What is it? I won't tell you. <laughs> I see. Does she have a reason for not telling me? Well, just by talking to Chiaki, I feel like I was able to understand her a little better. So I guess that's good enough for now. Surprise, it's dating sims? She's bad at That's dating sims because she's ace in head canon. <laughs> I parted ways with Chiaki and went back to my room. Right though, I think everybody needs her hoodie. Let's be real. It's a very good kitty hoodie. <laughs> Looks like it's almost time to meet up with Kazuichi. He told me to come to the supermarket. What's he thinking all of a sudden? And keeping it a secret from the others. I don't want to think about it, but if he's plotting to... No, there's no way someone as carefree as him would do something like that. Hajime. Wait, you only hang out with one person? Yeah. Hopefully we'll get another free time later? Hmm? It's well past the arranged time, and there's no sign of Kazuichi. All of a sudden, the anxiety I'd been keeping inside me began to swell up like a balloon until... No. Yo! Ugh! Whoa! Hey! What the heck? Don't get all pissed off just because I was a little late. L late? Oh, I get it. He, I totally forgot he's that kind of guy. A guy who doesn't mind showing up late even though he's the one who asked me to come. That kind of guy. Well, it sort of makes sense. So, what do you want? Why'd you call me out here like this? Hey. Well, you know, can you do me a little favor? A little favor? Uh. I just overheard something. Apparently it's Miss Sonia's idea. For a change of pace, looks like the girls are secretly planning to go splash around at the beach. Doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me you. <gasps> As expected of Miss Sonia, splashing around in the sea is a nice <gasps> idea. I admire her so much it's shocking. My heart trembles around her so much it's about to burn out. <laughs> so, hold on a second, turn the game down just a smidge. Let's crash it together. Why me? Hey. hey. Well, it's weird to fake a coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? So how about a scenario where you and I go to the beach and then we run into the girls by coincidence? Huh? Hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any of the other guys to help me with this. Man. Nekomaru can't keep his mouth shut to save his life, and Gundam is... Well, Gundam. Fuyuhiko and Nagito are out of the question. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the beach. Hey, hey I took the time to prepare your swimsuit, you know. And now you're just gonna walk all over my kind action? You're snapping at me? If you say no, I'm gonna bug you about it until you die. There's no way he's joking about that. This is Kazuichi after all. If I have no choice, then fine. Yahoo! That's my Hajime. That's how a soul brother should act. So what do I have to do? Well, well based on what I overheard, 
Looks like they're going to Chandler Beach on the second island. All right. That's why we gotta head over to that diner first. Our plan is to be at the beach before they get there. And we're gonna act like it's just a coincidence. Got it. So I need to go Engine's to the diner. Revving. Yahoo! I'm getting all excited now! Well, that makes one of us, I suppose. Looks like you can't take a hint. Oh boy. <laughs> Have I mentioned I hate Kazuichi? Yeah, he's not great. He's not. Not good at all. I'm just gonna slowly run our way over to this bridge. I'm okay with this. <laughs> no. fast running, please. <laughs> you don't like my fast runs? I hate it. Nekomaru would be perfect to go to this thing. I don't know what Kazuichi's talking about. Nekomaru is fantastic. <laughs> oh, I've hit the wrong button. Oh, you genuinely, the wrong way too. genuinely, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I keep forgetting that it's I have to click, and it's not a push. He took Nekomaru to scope only to see me a power couple. <laughs> oh no, unstoppable force. Gundam has no interest in these things, he just wants to hang out with his hamsters. And I respect that. <laughs> Into the diner, is that where we're going? The way characters pop up is very good. <laughs> Alright, we're here! Now we just have to stake out the spot and wait until the ladies arrive. Be the ultimate coincidence, Travis! <laughs> is he sure about this plan? I mean... Isn't this a little too stalkerish? Yes. Yeah, it's awful. I hate it. <laughs> you are you are correct, Hajime. This is bad. And when are they gonna come? Did you happen to overhear that with your sensitive ears too? Hmm. They mentioned something about coming a little after the sun starts to tilt. So maybe around 4 p.m. It's 3 p.m. right now, so we still have to wait one more hour. <laughs> Always make your move early. That's just the basics, you know. Hey, I don't know if you should be talking like an expert right now. It's not stalking if you bring a buddy. Anime logic. Oof. Hey. Oof. It's fine. It's fine. Just make sure you keep watch by the window. It'd be bad if you didn't catch Miss Sony on her way to the beach, you know. It's our job to keep that from happening. To get to the beach, they gotta pass in front of the diner. You better keep your eyes peeled. This isn't a game. If this isn't a game, then what is it? I really should have just said no. Sitting at a table by the window, I rested my chin in my hands and absentmindedly stared out the window. Whoa. Are they coming? Did they arrive? It hasn't even been ten minutes yet. 20 minutes passed, and then 30 minutes. Let's go to the beach, beach! <laughs> As time passed by, and Mickey and Josh, <laughs> the only things that grew were the volume of my size and the weight of my regret. <sighs> Say, what kind of swimsuit do you think Miss Sonia will wear? Since she's a foreigner, how about a bikini? Don't you feel like there's a pure, innocent, mythical fantasy hiding between the top and bottom of a bikini that's called a torso? Even if I wanted to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. Wait, huh? And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, a certain someone walked by the front of the diner. Huh? Isn't that... I wonder what happened. I guess I should head over? We left the diner in a hurry and ran to where that person was standing. I forgot we were this close to this. I know what's happening. <laughs> it's our boy! You, you bastards. It's not Monokuma, Travis. It's better. <laughs> I knew it was you, Fuyuhiko. What are you doing here? Shut the hell up! That, that's my line. Hey, hey! What the heck? You're awfully tense. Actually, why do you seem so flustered? You. Who are you calling flustered? Don't go making false accusations, you bastard. Again, I just really appreciate listening to Emmy just curse constantly. <laughs> it's very good. Huh? Don't tell me you 
Oh man, is that it? You overheard my plan, didn't you? Huh? Plan? Huh? It's no use playing dumb. You overheard my plan and followed us all the way here, right? Hello! Hey, what are you doing at this place? Oh, my mom! That's a strange combo. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Um, today is another wonderful day. Well, you are done for! What was that voice? Whoa, that was really scary. <laughs> That um, that had to have been like a somebody else's voice line. That didn't sound like Mekon at all. Like that sounded like Ibuki. <laughs> I didn't like that. I that didn't like that happened. either, and I don't think it, I've ever had that happen before. Sorry, that was it spooky. Was a glitch? Maybe. You just got their voice lines wrong. It's fine. You're not gonna get what? You're not gonna get away now that I've caught you! Ugh, I got so nervous I ended up blurting out something weird! I'm I... really worried about you, Mikan. Right? <laughs> but please don't hate me! I'll take the punishment as much as you'd like! Well... Uh, um, you two... This is such a coincidence! I'm... I don't remember that. Never mind, alright. Um, I never expected to coincidentally run into you guys here. He really does suck at this. Wow. Man, actually, Hachime and I were about to head to the beach together. Oh my. Huh? Could <laughs> God damn it, Jody. <laughs> Every time. Every time. <laughs> Could that be what you ladies are here for? That's such a coincidence. It even seems like destiny. Aww. Something's obviously suspicious. Your eyes are moving around like salmon before they lay eggs. Well... No way! I'm always like this. Uh, how should I put it? I always pay attention to my surroundings. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Every single time. I mean, I'm thinking it too. <laughs> and if she's not saying it, you just suddenly hear <laughs> from back behind me. And you know. You know she's thinking it. Beautiful. <laughs> and it throws me off it's fine it's great because we're all thinking it want to go to the beach beach <laughs> i do want to go to the beach same but not anytime soon well like an isolated one that would be lovely i wish oh i i can't keep watching this I know, it's terrible, Hajime. As I sighed and looked away from that embarrassing sight, I realized that he had disappeared. Hmm? Where did Fuyuhiko go? Well... Well, regardless, you two have arrived pretty early. It's only 3.30. You still have about 30 minutes until you meet the oh others. God, Kazuichi! <laughs> um... Why do you know we're going to meet with the others? Why you? And you even know our damn t meeting time. Hmm. Well, well, you see. For now. Anyway, let's cherish the coincidence that brought us together. So it's okay if we join in too. Wow, he got forceful all of a sudden. Aww. So that's your ulterior motive. You're probably here for Sonia, aren't you? Well, I. You really have no desire to do something so rude, like decline the offer at all. But. Sonia was the one who planned to go to the beach, so we need to ask her. Of course. Then it's all good! <laughs> it's too devastating to think Miss Sonia would decline, so I just won't think it. Can we kick his ass? I wish. <laughs> Is he being an optimist or a pessimist? I don't He's really get it. He's being a fucking hey, bastard. Hey. Right? <laughs> Thank you, Abby. <laughs> Hey, hey, is it alright if we go inside now? Ibuki was gonna eat a good meal first. That's why I came early. <laughs> sure thing. Let's wait inside. Can't take my mind off Fuyuhiko. Oh well. I've I come... can't either. <laughs> <laughs> None of us can. That sweet baby face. Oh well. I've come this far. I can't turn back now. No, you can. You really can, Hajime. You can just walk away and be like, alright, I'm done. You can. You don't have to go along with it. Right? I returned to the diner and sat myself at the table near the window once again. Whew. Without thinking, I couldn't help letting out a big sigh. <laughs> oh, what are you guys going to do about your swimsuits? You aren't allowed to change in that beach house, you know. 
Yes, that's why we're already wearing them. <laughs> What's underneath this uniform isn't panties. It's a swimsuit. Of course. Well, that's obvious. I also came wearing a swimsuit, too. Hmm? Really? Uh... Which reminds me. You're not wearing yours yet, huh? Then you gotta go to the bathroom so you can change. Here you go. Oh, this no. is yours. Kazuichi, <laughs> no. No. What is this thing? <laughs> um, it may be rude of me to say this, ah. but that looks a little too daring. Are you serious? What if something falls out? If this is airing live, we're totally gonna get censored by the network. <laughs> it's <laughs> Sorry, I didn't- I had no idea! So this is what the kids call camo. I couldn't see it. See, it's is the problem? Anything. <laughs> I see nothing here. Don't worry! Even at its worst, it won't turn into a live-action drama. That's not the problem. What is it then? Are you telling me you don't want to match with me? Oh no. It's matching? <laughs> and I definitely don't want to wear it. Oh. Um, I believe fighting is bad, so let's stop. Peeking. Peeking. <laughs> Things are heating up something fierce. When everyone uh when's everyone gonna come? I hope they come soon. And as she said that, Ibuki peeked out the window. Oh. Hmm? <gasps> what is it? Look outside! Outside! What's outside? Isn't that Kyoko? Jeez. Look, look at her stomping. I thought it was Miss Sonia. Doesn't she seem a little strange? What what uh tipped you off, Hajime? If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Huh? <laughs> it looks like she's running from the beach. Beach, Did something beach? Happen? Despite our questions, Hyoko ran by the front of the diner at full speed. All the time, right? All the time. <laughs> she totally ran past us, but wasn't she part of the beach crew? Well, a apparently she can't swim, so she turned us down. She can't do anything. Hmm. She can't fucking do anything. But she... Didn't she just come uh, running from the beach? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't really know all the details about that. <laughs> Well, it just means women are full of surprises. Mahiru's the type to totally come, but she surprisingly turned us down, too. Mahiru, she did? She turned it down? It's so unexpected of her to not join in, in on an event like this. In fact, she totally planned this sort of thing. That's totally it! But it can't be helped! Apparently she wasn't really feeling well. Um, um I'm terribly sorry to continue this topic, but why is Hyoko crying? Why are you asking us? But if she was sprinting away from the beach and crying, something's definitely wrong. Hey. hey. Whoa! When'd you get here so suddenly? Kazuichi suddenly shouted, and what uh, he was looking at was near the diner's entrance. As I turned around... My baby. My, my, how disappointing. I thought if I came early, I'd be the first one to arrive. Couldn't keep myself... From staring like an idiot. Oh, Chiaki, you came wearing this only your swimsuit. <laughs> Hold on, just a second, y'all. Cool. When you're muted. Cool, 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 cool. You mean you want to be you want to be able to hear Emmy at the same time? <laughs> I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did. It'd be a serious burden. <laughs> they did. This is a background that they chose. Pork burgers! <laughs> with the. <laughs> with that very uh, salacious pig in the background. And then there's Chiaki. But even though you didn't <laughs> want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. Instead of bringing lunch it's for very everyone, great. I brought ice cream. Um, it's not like I'm gonna turn it down, but ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. Oh, hold on a second. Are you using your computer and your... Okay. I was gonna say, you can watch the stream in the in the Discord. Oh. But then you can't be in chat. So, that's up to you. 
<laughs> also, I was thinking of stuff we could all do at the beach together. So I brought a board game too. Board games on the beach sounds like a terrible choice. You're gonna lose pieces. Should we play it even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. I see. That's disappointing. You tried Chiaki and that's all that matters. <laughs> but how should I say this? Is this what Gap Moe is supposed to be? For someone normally so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit, it makes you a little excited. Right, Hajime? Leave my girl alone. Well, um, I don't know. That's what I said, but my heartbeat was actually getting faster and faster. It's because Chiaki is pretty, but we also need to respect the <laughs> fact that she is a human. <laughs> Seriously, man, I never expected Chiaki to have such huge jugs. Stop! Oh my God. Stop! <laughs> I'm not saying it! Hey, hey, hey. Jugs? You're not saying jugs? I, I didn't say that just now. It was Hajime. He's a pervert, you know. What are you saying? I mean, I only have eyes for Miss Sonia. I've dreamed of going out with a blonde lady ever since I was a kid. Mm. Sorry. The size is a little small, but this was the only swimsuit that fit me. Girl, hey, I feel hey. that. I don't look good in it. <laughs> of ice cream. Jugs of ice cream. Exactly. Huh? Well, no, I guess you look good. Thanks. Then I'm glad, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> wearing a bikini is sure daring. And you get bonus points for wearing a white one. My heart's not thumping. It's thumping all sporadically. Like, but um thump soda bump It's probably a heart yeah. attack. Hey, I kept on- uh, kept you waiting. We heard a voice as the diner door slowly opened, and the person who walked through it was... Why do you have blood on you? Uh, hey, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Ah! Akane! What happened to you? What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. This time? Not that! It wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now. She got someone peeking. <laughs> Valid. Uh, oh, you're talking about <laughs> these. It's the only the only murder that doesn't count in the Dongan Rumpa world is if someone is peeking on you and then and then you do a hit. <laughs> <laughs> on my way over here, I happen to run into the Coach Nekomaru. And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? <laughs> Why does she have to do that? Are you really all right? Your head, it looks like it's split in half. Well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? No, Akane. That's not how that works. <laughs> Akane, no. You're totally playing up the power of human spit. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. Good lord. <laughs> Anyway, you need to be treated, and you also need your wounds sterilized. Akane, uh, Akane, please come with. With an unusually forceful demeanor, Mikan pulled Akane into the bathroom. <laughs> We're both confirmed. It's true. That's why she's the ultimate nurse. Well, it's gonna be okay if we leave it to her. Hey. What is all this ruckus? All right. Oh, who is it this time? Everybody's in bikinis. What the heck? Hajiman, mm -hmm. Kazuichi, why are you two here? Hey, Reasons. Aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. A little swimming? I swam around the island for about three hours. That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? It wasn't for my enjoyment. He absolutely they would. Different islands. <laughs> huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. So many dibbies. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. Hey. We've got Kazuichi here, but at least Teru Teru is not here to make comments. Hey, Hajime. Hmm? What? Awesome! A woman with wet, slick back hair is pretty fine too, huh? 
Like, his comments aren't great, let's be real, but, like, Teru Teru was very direct and explicit. <laughs> yeah, Kazuichi's just gross, but, like, all things considered, fairly tame compared to some of our other gross, gross, greasy children. And this body, too! Man! Yep, nope, we saw. <laughs> Young We've ladies seen it. are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. Ibuki, no. Don't say such asinine things. <laughs> I do, I do be loving me, Ibuki. Anyway, it looks like everyone is almost here, and it's already past 4 p.m. If so, all that's left is... I am terribly sorry for my delay. Ah! That scream! <laughs> Miss Sonya's here! He's doubled down, or he's doubled down on excitement. <gasps> all right, what kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Sonya wearing? The practical kind? <laughs> It's a wetsuit! It is to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. It takes for freaking ever to get a wetsuit on. It is my bad. Oh my. I see. A wetsuit. Well, if Sonia does have beautiful white skin. Miss Sonia! But that tight outfit of hers is amazing! Just what I'd expect from a 100% purebred princess. Oh. This guy, he's quick to recover. Um, um, anyway, why are you two here? Uh. <laughs> I'll answer that, Miss Sonia. I'll be honest. If you're gonna go to the beach, please let us come with you. I am concerned. Well, this was originally <laughs> supposed to be a girls only outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. Do you think you can make an exception? Pretty please! Um, well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problems even if there are some boys. Then... No, there will be problems, Chucky. <laughs> Just... You're right. They came all the way here. It would be bad if we made them leave. It wouldn't be. Make them leave. <laughs> Miss Sonia is just so kind. All right. All right. Now that it's decided, let's get going. But Akane's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! There's no way I can just stand around. I'll go on ahead and prepare. I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. Revving. I mean it. I promise I'll give it my all to serve you, so everyone has fun. With an abnormal amount of gusto, he bolted out of the diner. Um. I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a little awkward. Heaven. I... I should go help Kazuichi, too. As I mumbled my excuse, I ran out of the diner, almost as if I were escaping. He's just a... He's just a little boy. He can't be left alone with the girls. That's too much. Can't do it. Ding dong bing bong. Hmm? The, that bell just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered! Uh oh. Well, then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! And we didn't find the body. That never happens! A, a body? That's a lie. That's impossible. Someone. Somewhat come here! Kazuichi. That was definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. It it sounds like he's nearby. Did did that scream just now come from in here? Cautiously I reached my hand toward the doorknob. As I twisted the doorknob and tried to open the door. Clatter, clatter, clatter. It won't open? It's locked. No, this is different. It's like something is blocking the door from the other side. What does this mean? How can we redeem the sound if you do it first? I mean, maybe be faster than Monokuma. <laughs> Kasuichi scream. Did I really hear it coming from here? Again, we haven't found the body, technically. 
technically. So there is still a window of opportunity for you to ding dong bing bong. But also thank you for the bubble, Travis. No, what am I ner being nervous about? There's no reason for me to be nervous. <laughs> a body discovery announcement? I won't believe it. I'm not gonna believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? It's a reason my voice. I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. I won't a believe body it. Has been discovered. Did it too dang soon. <laughs> the moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. Do we own our body? <laughs> Maybe. Also, dang, look at all that blood. Dang, look at all that blood. Dang, look at all that blood. It's fine. It's just Mihiru. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with this. Hajime so slow. Right? It's fine. It's just Mihiru. No one's torn up about this. If this was all a dream, when did I... When did I begin dreaming? If this was reality, why is Mihiru on the floor covered in blood? Because she's dead. Hajime. I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. And I couldn't believe in anything. It's fine. See and punishment sin and coconuts. Oh, this is Wendy's girl. <laughs> this is a Wendy's. <laughs> Mahiro Koizuma, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force. <laughs> I was not prepared. <laughs> she had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. Was she? Hajime, I don't think we're thinking of the same person. And she was always straightforward. Toward us and toward herself, she was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? What? She never turned around. <laughs> right? <laughs> she never turned around. She was always facing the one direction. That's such a weird thing to say. Sorry. <laughs> it's valid, though. Why Mahiru? Why? Because she was a horrible person! What? Why did this happen to her? Someone got fed up with her misandry, honestly. Wherever... Or wait. Wherever she was. There she is. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I see no lie here. The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble, and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Damn it! Hey, Hajime! Before this, we were having a great time, right? No. We were excited about going to the beach. We were having a lot of fun. Well, I mean, it wasn't a great time, but... Early misandry, it was just a toxic masculinity. I guess, yeah. Yeah. It was so gross. It was just gross, and I hated it, and I hated her. So it's fine. <laughs> you right, though. <laughs> um. Ugh, it's fine. She's gone now. Don't have to deal with that nonsense. But why? Are you kidding me? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me! I obviously don't know what's going on either. Oh. Hmm? Um. um... <laughs> <laughs> the best Ibuki sprite. Now's not the time to make bubbles! Hurry and get the others! Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time, but I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. <laughs> Buddy, you knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> Maybe not that it was gonna happen to her, but you knew it was gonna happen. My senses started to return around the time I realized that the others were already here. Huh? Alright, who did it? What the hell is this? Uh, what? Why Mahiru? The girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach, their faces pale with terror. Something like this. Or, 
For heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling toward the beach house until a voice stopped them. Hold it. Ah, hold on a sec. Yeah, you tell him, Chiaki. Those things beneath you. Be careful not to step on them. What? Beneath? See? You know, the footprints in front of the door. Surprise, Chiaki's actually hairy now? Footprints. <laughs> You still there, Emmy? Oh, wait, I didn't know it was me. <laughs> it's it <was> yellow. Prince <laughs> leading out of the house, right? That's probably an important clue. <laughs> so don't step on them. Huh? If, if you mean evidence. Monokuma mentioned it in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold a class trial. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. What the? Another That's class the show, trial? Right? Hmm? You serious? Then are you saying this is That's right! That's right! One of you guys killed her! Oh, killed That's impossible! Hey, hey! It's not like an accident or something. Like If you guys think that's an accident, this still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? In other words. That also counts as a legitimate murder. Though such fine, uh, such deaths fall into a gray area. On this island, I will make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. <laughs> well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. Not when Monami takes such good care of people. What's this? Oh, speaking of which. Bonami, are you gonna say something? I don't like this. There it is! The silent treat silent treatment attack! This is like the number one thing that hurts me! Yeah. Well, fine. I'm not gonna lose to your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. Th this is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim. And it's all because of Monokuma. No way! Jeez, it's not my fault. Hmm. Then whose fault is it, you ask? Yeah. To find out, we hold the class trial. So... so, let's begin already. No whining. Just begin already. It's the Okay, file. I shall pass out the Monokuma file number two. This should start to feel familiar. Do your best. Now then, do your very best to investigate. I'll see you later at the class trial. <laughs> class trial. Investigation. This is horrible. It's just too horrible. It all seems fine to me. But then you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? <laughs> that I did have that power before he appeared. Perhaps, even if she tried to stop it. Judging from Monokuma and Monami's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. Yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but they can only hear about three times that of a normal person. So Oddly specific. So basically, I... you have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Good morning. Just... Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just the worst. A powerless rabbit like me is the worst. I wouldn't disagree with that. <laughs> wow. Just, just rabbit, man. Just rabbit. Hey, now's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? Uh, do, do we have to do it again? Where's Nekamaru in all this? Like, <laughs> we've seen like every other character, right? At this point, Maybe he's recovering from the fight. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he, and, he and Akane did get into it. I just think it's funny. It's like we at least know like where uh, Nagito is. So we know where everyone is except for Nekamaru. Anywho, it's not important or anything. It's not gonna come back later or anything. That that cruel thing. We have to do it again. Why? I cannot believe it. My hero was killed by one of us. Damn it! Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating class trial. 
Seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. And there's no way we can just ignore the reason Mahiru was killed. We can, actually. We can ignore hey. it. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Because <laughs> it's bad. Because we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Mm-hmm, okay. Chucky. Well, the killer has their reasons. I understand that. It was the same for Teru Teru, too. It's really all Monokuma's fault. I understand that, too. But even so... Killing. We should never I'll never forgive. allow it. Don't. Oh. <laughs> but that's not... Okay. Same line, just said differently. <laughs> she usually has her head in the clouds, so for her to say something like that... She probably can't forgive this at all. Really? What made you, uh, what made you think that, Hajime? Was it, was it Chiaki saying that you can't forgive killing? Three like times? Four times? Right? <laughs> she only said it a handful of times. Like, I don't know where you got this idea from. But, uh, but that's true of me, too. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for us all to survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do it! Then let's do this! Perhaps. Mahiru probably wants us uh, to do this. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I understand. If everyone's doing it, I'll do it too, but... But please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. Also, I'll go and tell the others who aren't here about this. You're right. If all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. <laughs> I shall excuse myself for now. Hey. Then let's begin. Who killed Mahiru Koizumi? Why was she killed? <gasps> we gotta find out and solve this already. That's right. We have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's more the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only person who can do this. Investigation time! First, I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. <laughs> Dead. The victim is Mahiro Koizumi. Estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. There are no other conspicuous in external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Around 3 p.m. That's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Then, if we had just gone to the beach house instead... No, now's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then, I'm gonna find out the truth behind Mahiru's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. Cool beans. That's not what I wanted to click on. So, this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. That's right. The shower's being repaired, so water won't come out. But what about hot water? Well, that's impossible, too. If the shower's out of order, then isn't it just a waste of space? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> just when I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken from me. <laughs> so I never got around to fixing it. What the heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repairing? You're so evil. Anyways, it's all Monokuma's fault. Everything is all Monokuma's fault. Are we sure about that? Hula. But what? <laughs> Your doubtful eyes are telling me you think I'm Monokuma's accomplice. You must have read my mind. <laughs> think what you want of me. I've already given up. Got it? But let me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of despair. I promise I will help with that. 
What help? You're doing the opposite. Yeah, I don't understand. Oh well. Anyway, it looks like the shower room is definitely out of order. But I guess I should check the inside too. Shower room. Okay, well I wanted to speak to Ibuki first. <laughs> Mahiro, 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 Mahiro. This is too weird. Something this weird should only happen in song lyrics. Hey Sonya, what do you Perhaps, gotta say? Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. However, but what she really wanted, she probably wanted to spend time with all of us peacefully without something like this happening. Well, you see. I'll never forgive killing. However, Chucky seemed quite different from her usual self. She must feel very strongly about killing. That... It's not just Chiaki. There's no way anyone would forgive something like this. I guess you're right. Hmm. Hmm, that's weird. What do you mean? Uh. Well, I wanted to call myself a little, so I thought about getting a drink from that refrigerator. When I opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a larger variety of drinks. Mm. Well, I guess I'm just imagining things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now, huh? What are you talking about? Seriously, it's okay. I've resolved it on my own, to, so just drop it. The heck, you started it. Finish talking to everyone, How and then we'll look around. Suspicious. What is this? This is suspicious, I think. Did you find some kind of clue? See? You know the footprints from earlier? They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Well? Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints showed that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey! Now that you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange, too. You did? Uh... At first, I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road, but it didn't open, so I went around and tried to go in from the beachside door. Couldn't get inside the roadside door because Mahiru's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. And that's when I noticed those footprints. Footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. Hmm. Now that you mention it, Peko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be? Mm. Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach. Maybe. Is that really true? But, still, but those, uh, but these footprints lead straight from the beach out, um, uh, beach house out to the tunnel. You got this. <laughs> Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. <gasps> then, whose footprints are these? It appears. It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yes, it's probably an extremely important clue. Footprints! Okay, um... Just make our way back around the other... <laughs> to the other side of the room. Maybe... And there's a clue inside the trash can. That's what I thought, but... There's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. I guess it's not that easy, huh? And yet we're tagging it as a clue. Right. Alright, Hajime, that's cool. There's a lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but... Compared to last time, I feel like there's a lot less drinks. Did people take a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, the only drinks left in here look either sweetened or colored. Dajime will remember this. <laughs> they look unhealthy. <laughs> and sticky. Sticky? Honey. Honey is sticky. Closet door is half open. Last time I came here, that wasn't the case. It's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here too. I didn't want to go in, but here we are. This is a pretty spacious walk-in closet. But there's so much crap on the shelves and floor, only one person could stand in here. But if you think about it this way, 
It means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Okay. There's a lot in here, but we can only look at three things. Flotation devices, snorkels, nets. There's also some paint supplies, too. Hmm, there's not much else that could be related to the incident. There's a lot of stuff jammed onto the shelves, even surfboards and a surfboard case. But there's not er but they're not put away properly at all. The two boards are stuffed onto one shelf and some boards have been left out inside or er, instead of being put on the case. And there's also an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how careless. <gasps> a gummy. Hmm? There's something on the floor. This yellow thing is a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural. If it's connected to the incident, did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? Look, even gay folks eat gummies. All right. All right. I'm just saying. I do be loving me some gummies. Hell yeah, it's a Monokuma gummy. I would eat the fuck out of those. Just saying. Um, I guess that's the only thing that caught my eye inside this closet. Mmm, gummies. They gotta be evil gummies, though. So just because they're colored one way, they're, like, flavored the opposite. So, like, the yellow is grape. No. Uh, surprise, they're actually all grape. I mean, yummy, but misleading. <laughs> Grape is the worst flavor, though. Oops, all grape. Oh no! <laughs> I would cry. Uh, according to the Monokuma file, the, the fatal blow was dealt to Mahiro with a blunt object. That blunt object, it's this metal bat, right? Oops, all banana flavored. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't. That also sounds bad. Like, if it tasted like actual bananas, I'd be fine with it. But if it, like, tasted like artificial banana, not not great. No, not black licorice! <laughs> no, that. you monsters! <laughs> Alright, so they're, so they're all banana and black licorice flavored, is oh, what I'm oh. hearing. But they're not even, like, you can't even tell because they're the wrong colors as well. <laughs> Awful. Terrible. I hate this. <laughs> yep. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Not all red. I don't want to talk about these gummies anymore. <laughs> yeah, please, no more. Huh? Well, there's a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. Stop! You guys are terrible! Also, sorry, Amy, I'm cleaning my glasses. Nah, you can read. I was just saying, I was, there was a there was a pause there because I'm cleaning my glasses. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That girl was killed with a blow from a metal bat, just like Miru. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking monsters. Hey, hey. Did you did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about that metal bat? Uh, about that. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. But did you? Play it too. <laughs> then I'm sure you know this, but the case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mahiru's death, you should uh you probably need to solve the that game's mystery too. Alright, because we only played half the game, right? Day two and four? But even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's wrong. That's because you haven't beaten the game. <laughs> beaten? I finished the game with a game over, but were you able to beat it? Mm. Mm. I'm not some ga uh, girl gamer who talks about video games she's never beaten. So, what am I supposed to do to actually beat the game? I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But for now, I should focus on this investigation. Do y'all want me to add a high five command? Because I think we've tried to use that before. Anyway. So, it's okay to say that this metal bat is absolutely the murder weapon, right? 
shiny, probably. Okay, what else can we look at? Holy shit! <laughs> the body? Yeah. Just wanted to see if I was missing any, th any other big things. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's a shell. It's better if there's an error code. <laughs> Alright, I'll think about that. Um, It's as if she's a shell. Is this really the energetic Mahiru I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mahiru. But, but we don't have time to wallow in the sentiment. <laughs> There's no way I can just stand here. Slap both my hands onto my cheeks and face Mahiru's body one more time, the way that she always faced us and herself. Oh my god. Mahiru was leaning against the beach door, uh, beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned onto the door like this, it would have been impossible to open it. Maybe Mahiru tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl to the door. Sorry, burps. Evidence can be seen in the bloodstains on the floor. They're streaked as if she crawled through them. I thought you fell. What's um, happening? Jody just laid down on the floor, but I, oh. because I've got my headphones mostly on, all I heard was this like thump as she like got on the ground, and so I thought she <laughs> fell off the couch or something. It's like, what the fuck are you doing back there? <laughs> Jody, no. Life <laughs> Oh no. Um, <laughs> moving on. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate. Or, you know, her life was threatened. Like, I feel like that's a very natural response <laughs> to someone threatening to kill you. Jesus Christ. Let's look at this mask. Hmm? What's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> or maybe party goods. Regardless, why is this even here? Could it be? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Um, a gaudy mask? Huh? Ah, that mask? <laughs> You've seen this? Sandwich Esper Ito. It... It is a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country. What the fuck is her country? Like... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> An anime that has a viewership of over 90%? Is Sonia's country really alright? <laughs> also, no. right, they all... <laughs> it's not. It's not alright. This country is a fucking disaster. But no, seriously, they all wear the same clothes every single day. I don't think covering your face is gonna make a, that big of a difference. However, if you were to steal someone's clothing, I'm just saying. I mean, sure, lots of kids know Naruto, but like, Esper, or Sun Witch Esper Ito, come on. <laughs> it cannot be. Anyway. Could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. <laughs> if that is true, could it be? Could it be what? I am sorry. Um, please give me some time. Sun, which sounds like a cooler anime. Hell yeah, I'd watch it. For reasons unknown, Sonya rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? It appears. It looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. Hmm? For Sonya to be so worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. I don't know, but I'm gonna take a very short break. Because your girl's had a ton of soda. And... I need to use the restroom. So y'all can deal with that for a hot second. Um, here, have some Paradise Killer. Ah, oh, yeah! <laughs> Go get a snack, 
stretch your legs. We'll be right back, y'all. It's gonna be good. I'm back. I guess I should unmute myself in Discord as well. But, uh, hey, I'm back. I'm here. I'm assuming Emmy's still off getting her snack, which is understandable and acceptable. I also support this communication happening through, through chat. Eat y'all food. I'm gonna do some investigation. It's not unacceptable. That's a lie. That's a gosh dang lie. All right. What were we doing? I think... Is this? This is the only other thing that we haven't looked at, right? Okay, yeah, I guess. There is a, there is a lemon grab uh, sound alert. It might be all in the chat, or in the, the thing, yeah. Might be still or there. <laughs> there you go. Allie. Allie got it. Might still be things I haven't investigated yet. Do you want me to go in here? I guess I might as well check the inside of the shower room too. Yeah, I suppose I didn't do that. Oh my gosh. Akane! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> this is a really nice, really spacious shower room. If it's this huge, you could also use it as a dressing room. But changing in the beach house is forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. 
toilet. There's a toilet. But you can't really use it as a step stool. Is, are you, it, okay, it's because I clicked it out of order. I was like, what are you talking about? Damn it. I guess no one's in here. I was thinking the killer was uh, hiding in here after they failed to escape. It wouldn't be that easy. There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if anyone can crawl through it. But I can't seem to take my mind off it. However, the ceiling is really high, so that window is also situated, situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I can't reach it. It's probably about nine feet up. And not just that, it's an iron barred window. If that's the case, yep, it'd be impossible to go in and out through there. What? What? Are you thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through there. Leave it to me. All right, I got it. I'll pitch in and help you out. Huh? Now then. Come on, give me a piggyback ride. I'll check the window for you. Pitch in and help. It feels like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. I'll pick you up. If you don't hurry up, I'll punch ya. She's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not gonna matter. Go get your water. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. <laughs> don't worry, my panties are clean. I see. That's good. Let out a deep sigh, then bent over and under the oh, window. Right. All right. As she shouted, Akane jumped onto my shoulders. Ugh. Akane. <laughs> hey, your balance sucks. Make sure your stance is wider. Y you, you're a lot heavier than I expected. Damn Got all that muscle. I'm so buff. <laughs> like every time I get a massage. They tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast? Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. That's not great, Akane. I shouldn't have asked. So, how's the window? Let's see. Hmm. Let's see, I see. So that's what <laughs> Just this part. D did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But check it out. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. <laughs> I was gonna say, the second game is definitely a lot more raunchy than the first or even the third. And it's like... It's fine, I guess. <laughs> I worry about all these this kids. Bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep, yep. Honey jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. <laughs> Isn't this a big discovery? But the problem is, how were they able to reach that window? Hmm, hmm. even if I jump, I can't really reach it. I was gonna say, yet. <laughs> but if two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. I don't wanna- huh? I don't wanna pay for the fan service, though. I don't want the fan service. I just- I don't want it. <laughs> accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? But even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as a step stool would still be inside. Mom. But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Hmm? Really? So... Yeah, like... I got it. A freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja can climb fences and walls no problem, right? Just as I thought. It looks difficult to go in and out through that window. Why? What the heck? And I even took the time to lend you my wisdom. You pissed me off. You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took the time to pitch in and help. You. It was such a waste of time to help you out. Well, you saw where my panties. No, I didn't! Oh well, it's not like it's the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them! Iron barred window. I guess that's pretty much everything I noticed in the shower room. Welcome back in. Um, I guess I finished investigating all I can, but there's still not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. 
Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why oh uh, find out why Mahiru got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Girl E was killed in that game by a, a single blow from a metal bat. Metal bat. That's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahiru. That there's no way that's just a coincidence, right? Actually, in truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. Missing Link. If that's the killer's motive for the killing this time, then that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus, the person who might uh, know about the mystery is standing right next to me. I should ask her about it. Metal Bat's been updated. Chiaki! Hey, Chiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Um, are you done investigating here already? Hmm? I think I finished investigating once, uh, once yep. through. Then let's go. Let's go! G go? So, you want to know about Twilight, uh, Syndrome, right? Then I think you should actually play it yourself. Let's go. So let's go. <laughs> We're gonna stream it on Twitch, and you're gonna become a famous uh, streamer, Hajime. It's gonna be great. Let's go. <laughs> you're right. With Chiaki leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Jabberwock Park, where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never, never expected that person to be waiting there. Oh! <laughs> hello there. Surprise! Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. N Nagito? <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? <laughs> Why are you here? Well... Well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. <sighs> More importantly, did you hear? Apparently Mahiru got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of our group. No, Always... she wasn't. <laughs> Tell me, do you feel strongly about that statement? I do. It lies in slander. <laughs> she was the heart of our group. Always spirited and very eager to talk. Just the sweetest thing. That Mahiru! <laughs> For her to be killed... If only I could take could have taken her place, it would have gladly done it. Amazing. But still, you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? That's right. It's really not. No matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> Though I do feel bad for Mihiru. This is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome despair this time? Mm. It looks like you feel no remorse. I love her grumpy face, by the way. <laughs> Jeez, as usual, he's acting so crazy, he's almost pissing me off. So why are you here? Who told you about Mahiru? Now, now. You don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you, you know. Monami? It's Monami! Yes, it was me. You've done it bad, Monami! <laughs> done it so bad. You- Why'd you untie, untie Nagito without anyone's permission? Um, did I do bad? Yes. I just wanted everyone to get along and, you know, cooperate. <laughs> There's no way we'll get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. That's... But fighting among friends is what Monokuma wants you guys to do. Can't fight among friends if he's not my friend. Now, now. Hajime, you should forgive her. Monami is making a valid point, too. You have no right to say that. What? But now's not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for Mihiru, right? That's right! Th that's right. That's why everyone must work together and have Monokuma. Enough! Enough already! Just go away already! <laughs> uh, understood. <laughs> Nagito, you too. Hurry up and get lost. Yeah. Well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's really no reason for me to be here. True ending. So, although I might be a little late, 
I, too, will do some investigating for a while. I will try to be useful in my own way. Mm. Who do you want to be useful to? The killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I will always be on the side of hope. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, the situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it. Okay. Hajime, let's just move on and start the game. <gasps> Go home, Allie! Yay, Allie! I'm very happy for you! Get home! Get out of there! You're right. Let's go. Game time. Even if I do play this, I might just get a game over again. Before I start, I should ask Chiaki if there's a walkthrough for this game. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walk uh, walkthrough for this game? Uh -huh. hmm? I feel like I'm just gonna repeat the second day and fourth day again and then get a game over. So if there's a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? Well, when you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Hmm? What do you mean? You want me to tell you? Do you want me to tell you? <laughs> I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? See? You should have seen it too. You know, that thing that was displayed on the game over screen? Is that... Down five. Are you talking about the message that says down five? Right. Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. Fucking watch me. It means you have to press down five times. Then the hidden command is... Yep. You just have to press the down button five times when you're on the tile screen. Just enter if the Konami code. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> if you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. Ah, dang. So that's the trick. Nope. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer girl. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just... You either get it or you don't. I mean, facts. <laughs> In fact, Nagito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Travis, are you having a stroke in chat? Are you okay? Travis? <laughs> Travis, you alright, buddy? Don't worry, Allie will be home soon. <laughs> Monokuma uh, icon. It's cute. <laughs> Travis, you need to slow down on your drinks. No more. <laughs> I need to press down five times on the title screen. All right, let's do this. Open the new door to Twilight Cinder murder case. Press down five times with your hands. Fun fact, you cannot do that, uh, early. It won't let you. Which is unfortunate. The screen changed. She was right! Emmy. Oh, whoops! <laughs> this is the real game. Twilight Syndrome Murder Cases Truth Edition. I, I shouldn't let you play the game now. Nope. I should start it up. I need to find out why this is a motive. It'll start if I press the enter key, right? Now then, let's begin Twilight Cinder murder case! I gotta do it with my own hands. It keeps telling me I gotta do it with my own hands. We open with a specific murder case. A tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind that incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, tragedy befell these girls. Several days after the incidents, one of the five girls, girl E, is murdered by someone. What in the world happened at this once peaceful academy? By playing the missing first day and third day, you will be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in this, in this truth edition. 
Will you be able to reach the truth? Now then, let's start with the first day, when it all began. Really? Yep. <laughs> yep. Gotta first wait. <laughs> Ellie gotta let us know that he's fine. We gotta know. I, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Jeez, we're gonna go home late because we had to wait for Slowpoke Girl A. Come on, Girl B, you don't have to be that mad. Hey, don't go taking photos without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. I, I'm not your friend? What? There's no way I'd be friends with a nasty, trashy, pig shit like you. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> I wonder. The way Girl B treats people, even loan sharks uh, looking to collect would get sick to their stomachs. Hmm? Is Girl E here yet? Uh, apparently she forgot something. She told us to wait just a little longer. <laughs> Travis! <laughs> I'm genuinely concerned about you. Is this a joke or like... It's It's gotta Travis. be a joke. Travis is he's holding to the bit a little too much. <laughs> Travis, type type yay three times if you're fine. Okay. Is a bit okay. Okay. It's he too just... good. Right. That's not. Whatever. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Damage she can't find her school swimsuit. Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen. <laughs> oh! S stolen? I mean, I guess that is technically <laughs> ye three times. I guess. Technically. You don't know? Right? You don't know? A pervert has been spotted in the area recently. <laughs> you should be super careful, girl A. A chubby weakling like you makes a perfect prey. It is ye three times with hats! Hey, stop it. Girl A's getting really scared. It's fun fun to bully girl A. Cool, what if I bully you back? What what was that sound? It sounded like glass breaking. Sounds like it came from the second floor. Let's go. trying not to do specific voices for any of them because it's hard to keep track of them all. Maybe it doesn't matter. Enter? Enter. Huff! Puff! Huff! Stop smoking in school. No! What do you have? A cigarette! No! No! <laughs> Girly, what happened? I, I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now. And then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. You're right, it's locked. Girl, D Dracula, you're a monster. You're so close though, Allie. Are you gonna are you gonna sprint the last half block? Oh, every neighbor's parked on the sidewalk. Those bastards. Girl D, or, or as we like to call her, Girl Dracula. <laughs> Did someone log it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Um, if we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the key to the music room. <laughs> the teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about these. <laughs> Travis, what have you done? He's created a monster. Good, we're glad he's fine. I found the key. Nobody was there, so it was super easy to get. Then let's open it right away. <laughs> Creak. Okay. Girl A, you lead the way. Huh? Me? Come on, hurry, hurry. 
<laughs> no! Clatter, clatter, clatter. Hello? <laughs> That's a dead kid. Are we just gonna- okay, I was like, are we just not gonna acknowledge? So, someone's laying on the floor. This- this- she's not lying down. She's dead. D dead <laughs> That's impossible! Why? Kia! Body has been discovered. <laughs> Thank you, Yami. Lower your voice! They might still be nearby! D nearby? I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murdered? Huh? Seriously, shut up! What's gonna happen if the killer notices us? B what should we do? What should I do? Oh my god. I see. So that's what happened. I found it. The killer's escape route. Escape route? Could it be... You mean this giant hole? Uh, the window is broken. The sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. It's not- it's not good. <laughs> Travis, it's not good. Someone probably locked the music room door from the inside and after killing this girl... <laughs> Jody. Jody. I have been restrained this whole time. <laughs> you could do it though. I'm gonna hate it, but you could do it. We broke the window and escaped outside. It looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So the killer just ran out the window. But if they just wanted to run away, they could have opened the window. Why did they have to break it? They were probably trying to leave in a hurry. Look, there's evidence. The fish tank by the window is tipped over and all the gravel is scattered. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. Broken fish tank. Fish. I miss fish. Darth said it. Do it. I... It, I don't know. I don't frame of reference. I don't know this. I mean, assumably Star Wars, right? I don't know what that sounds like. It's not too hard. Oh, wait, no, no, I know. I understand. I get it. I get it. Do it. It's not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought I'd, it'd be safer than using the hallway. God, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> but is that really it? I mean, to lock the door, you'd have to either lock it from inside the music room or use the lounge key. Oh, then I went to get the music room key. It was in the teacher's lounge. So the killer wouldn't have had time to return the key before they broke the window. Then the door could have been locked from the inside. That means the killer was inside the music room. Also, to get outside from the music room, they'd need to have passed by us in the entrance hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by. Which means the killer's only escape route was this, uh, was this window. Killer's escape route. It- <laughs> It's just like a- just like a southern accent? Like huh? real twangy. Re real twangy. Re gotta get that twang in there. I don't know how to fucking do that. It- It's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school grounds. Is that good enough? It's as good as it's gonna get. I can't... I can't go much more twang than that. My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then the pervert who stole Girl E's school swimsuit... Stole Girl E's school swimsuit. That's awful. Also murdered that girl over there? <laughs> They probably locked the music room so they could rape her, but she ended up resisting. That's- I don't- uh, uh. David needs to be girly, please? Please. <laughs> He's got that accent. I can't do it. So they frantically tried to get away, broke the window, and escaped. 
quick. Get him in here for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> it, isn't it bad if we stay here much longer? <laughs> Damn it, why is he at work? That's dumb. <laughs> Just remember to wash both, both hands in the crick. Twang. It, isn't it bad if we stay here much longer? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this. And the killer might still be around, too. That's bad. Uber bad. We better hurry up and run. Run! But, don't we have to report this to the police? Girl E is the country singer. Girl D is the Dracula. Don't, don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? This fucking Bama Rush. I hated it. I hated it. I hated all of it. Allie, why did you do this to us? <laughs> you become the prime suspect just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. It's stuff that she posted in the Jelly, jelly Beans, uh, or the Fall Gals server. <laughs> yeah, it'd be best if we left this room how we found it. Just lock the door, leave everything how it is. Hey, please wait. Don't leave me. Girl D, what are you doing? Dracula, what are you doing? Girl D! Oh, fucking hell. Uh. Sorry. Did I make you wait? So what's up? You asked me to meet here. Don't tell me you're gonna confess your love to me. Hmm? What happened? Um, I want you to look at this photo. <laughs> On the day of the incident, incident, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom as I was going home. <laughs> she, not, she may not be responsible for Alabama, but she was responsible for the Bama Rush. Just saying. And I couldn't help taking a picture. What do you think of these broken vase pieces, Neen? That sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What is this? I, I don't know anything about this vase. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. <laughs> so, seriously, I don't know anything. Uh, it's okay. I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girl E? Are, are you trying to blackmail me? Of, of course not. That's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You, you didn't say anything either. I knew, you know, I knew that girl got killed was, or I knew the girl who got killed was tormenting you. Huh? <laughs> no, she wasn't just tormenting you. She was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your photography club back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. Garri, don't, don't tell me you... That bitch thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family's influence. <laughs> Thank you. That is what I'm channeling at this point. <laughs> And I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first I tried to talk to her, but that bitch started talking shit about how she'd target me next time. So I felt a sudden rage. And before I knew it, I was choking her. And then she lost consciousness, but things would have been worse if she woke up, so. That's why I had to do something about it. But 
That's... It's not my fault. Or yours. It's all her fault. Ah! Girly! Ah, oh, yes. Just hanging out at the incinerator behind the school. That bitch. Girly, was it? Word is, she was with her on the day of the incident. Looks like she threw something away here. What was it? It's a hydrate. Thank you, Travis. My throat is dying. Hydration. What the hell is this photo? This vase is... Could it be the sound of breaking glass? Was it actually this? If it wasn't, why did she try to secretly get rid of this? That bitch! What the hell did she do to my little sister? Looks like I need to ask her a few questions. And if that bitch really did that, I will never, I will never forgive her. Game cleared! You did it! We did it! Now I never have to do those terrible voices ever again. Looks like this is the end. That's right. That's the truth edition. The incident's first day and third day are depicted in it. Yep. Yep. Now you're filled in. Um, now you filled in all four events from the first day to the fourth day. Hey, Chucky, what do you think of the characters in this game? Um, you mean like girl A and girl B? Their names make no sense and they have no romantic chemistry either. <laughs> No, not that. See? While you were talking, looks like the ending staff roll started. Staff roll? Perhaps. You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it. Probably. What I want to know is on the staff roll? Producer, Monokuma. Director, Monokuma. Supervisor, Monokuma. Travis. <laughs> Plant scenario, programmer, graphics, Monokuma, Monokuma, and Monokuma. Sound is by Monokuma. Cast, Sumiki, Koizumi, Hyoko, Miyota, Sato, Kuzuryu, and Kuzuryu. Emmy, oh, can, no. you, can you do a Dracula? I'm still kind of sick, so I'm gonna <laughs> pass. Next weekend. We'll get you next weekend. I, I can't do accents. That's half the fun at this point. I've tried before and everyone <laughs> told me to stop. That's because you were trying to do a British accent and it was just, it was not, it was not it, darling. I told you it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no. Next weekend. Do a Dracula. You've got a week to practice, Emmy. <laughs> no, you don't have to, you don't have to do the redeems if you don't want to. I just think it would be hilarious. Wait, just now. See, didn't I tell you? What you want to know is going to be on there. Miracle! Yay! Congrats! Miracle congratulations! When Steven did an accent? Oh my god, I barely remember that. I need to rewatch Steven Universe. I, bo I vaguely remember it just being horrific. The accent, that is. You have finally beaten Twilight Syndrome Murder Case! Now that you guys have played this game through to the end, you should already know! That's right! That game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident. It, is that true? By the way... By the way, non-fiction means an original story based on historical fact or records. Hey, answer my question! But, even if this is non-fiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, that can't be helped. Yeah. The school life you no longer remember is the setting for this story. Our school life. At any rate, congratulations! Now then, as for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for clearing the game, I won't give it to you. Ending prize. There was only one ending prize, and I already gave it to the first person who beat it. Too bad. <laughs> How disappointing. Did you say ending prize? Mm. Like, I was told the same thing when I beat it, too. Aww. Man, I was too late. If 
if I'd known something like this was gonna happen, I would have played the game sooner. <laughs> ending prize. But the ending prize isn't the problem. It's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how he used our school life as the setting of the game. Just as I thought. So it's connected to that this time, too. But is it really... Is it really true? We were already living our school lives, and our memories were completely taken. Is something that crazy actually possible? Then what did they do to us? You know, it looks like there's something on your mind. Hmm? Perhaps Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten this game. That this game is non-fiction. That it's the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. So do you believe it? Do you believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving this mystery first. Whether we believe it, it's the motive, uh, believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. Yeah. <laughs> if that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. Um, you're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Then I'll go too. Yes. That's right. If I get some information from them, I might find out uh, about something. About the mystery behind Mahiru's death, about whether this game is true or not, and if we really had our school memories taken away. Hey, okay. then let's hurry and ask the others. <sighs> and while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in the game. <laughs> Leave it to me. Ah, uh, also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. I see, thanks. That's a huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. Alright, let's go! Hello Nagito. There. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. We meet again. Timing's too perfect. Were you waiting here- or you were waiting here, weren't you? you? It totally was! It absolutely was. Ugh, so you caught me. Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? If you've beaten the game, we must think similarly, right? Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm being a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys. You pressed down five times. Like... <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Emmy. <laughs> it's okay, just make your point. Well, there was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? You don't know? Why, the characters who appeared in Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. The girls must be busy with their investigations, too. It'd be a waste of time if we both question them, Why no? Now? If you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. <sighs> what should we do? Hmm. Hmm. I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. Let's go! <laughs> oh. Oh, that's just Chiaki. I was like, who is this? It's just a girl. It's just it's a let's girl. Go. It's let's go. Let's go. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Fucking hell. I promise it's not intentional. <laughs> Gundam. We also haven't heard from Gundam. They're hanging out together, him and Nekomaru. Precious. I mean, Nekamaru does look like a giant cat. Gundam's probably just trying to tame him. Ew. <laughs> All right, at the airport. Ladies. <laughs> the ultimate beast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, Hajime, over here. Mikan, Ibuki, Hyoko are all here. The names on the staff roll for Twilight Syndrome murder case were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sionji, except no, actually it wasn't Sionji. It said Hyoko. It, it just okay. said it said her first name. <laughs> uh, Miyoto, Sato, and Kuzurio. Wow. I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Sorry. So unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent. <laughs> I apologize. What? Hmm? It's okay to be 
absent? I thought you said we'd get executed if we didn't come. Executed? <laughs> I mean, you said Monokuma had something important to tell us, right? We, we came because you told us that. <laughs> Sorry, that was a lie. <laughs> ah, a lie? <laughs> oh, you tricked us! What the, Wh what the heck? Jeez. Fine, then I'm leaving. Wait. Can you wait until we've finished our business with you? Right, Hajime? This is like, I'm on the same team as Nagito. No, I can't focus on that right now. I have to get information from them. We'll go left or right. Ibuki. Hey, Ibuki, can I ask you something? Why you? Bring it on! Have you played Twilight Center Murder Case? Aww. Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those yes. things. Ibuki's a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except electric guitars. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Her unique tone and hyper energy. There was a character like that in the game, too. Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and Mihiru? <laughs> hmm? You mean that in a perverted way? No, in a normal way. Aww. Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with Mihiru was... Hmm... Mihiro this morning to go to the beach with us, she made this really disappointing face. A disappointing face. I see. Yeah, I see. but disappointment varies depending on the person. Ibuki associates it with department store rooftops? Let's stay focused on Mihiro. Totally it. it turns out Mihiro had some business too, and she wanted to invite me to that uh, to that instead. She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans... Mm. Do you know what she meant by everyone? Aww. Nope, I didn't ask. I see. My hero invited Ibuki. Why? Hey, do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, Mikan? Um, no, since we said we weren't gonna play that game. Also, I'm not really good at video games. I'm pretty slow and I panic instantly. Her timid tone. I'm pretty sure the girl A character was like that too. Hey. hey. Anyway. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, can you tell me about your relationship with Mahiru? <laughs> relationship with Mahiru? Well, I first met her um when we gathered at the classroom with everyone else, and after arriving at the island, I did have a few conversations with her, but <gasps> give her all the pets. Mm -hmm. Could it be? Did Mahiru hate me? Oh, that's definitely it. She hated me. She doesn't know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she hated me, for her to actually invite me, she must have been a really kind person. Hmm? Invite? <laughs> uh, Mahiru invited me this morning. This morning? She looked very serious. And she was wondering if we could all meet up so we could discuss something. But I already had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline, because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she'll reschedule for another day. <laughs> but if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened. My hero invited me, Khan. Why? I see. I see. Looks like we've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies based on that. The Fantasy! Hello! Welcome! Thank you for the raid! How is it going, friends? <laughs> How are we all doing? <laughs> Despair Raiders! Aw, oh, dang! Hello, hello! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Um, Let's pop on over here. Y'all are also playing Danganronpa! Fantastic! Stream has been very, very good so far. Um, let me do a quick introduction. Hello, friends. My name is Keisher. I am an LGBTQ plus streamer who mostly focuses on horror and mystery games. As you can tell, we're uh, currently playing some Danganronpa. Um, I've got one of my mods here with me, Mayor Emmy, who's reading along, helping me Hello. save my voice. Yeah. Um, it's good times. It's very good. We're only on chapter two. 
um, just starting the investigation. I have played this game before, so I am familiar with everything that happens. Um, we do have lots of people in chat who have never experienced the game, however, so we do try and avoid spoilers. Um, <laughs> but, uh, hello, welcome, we're happy to have you here. So yeah, like I said, just try and keep spoilers to a minimum. Um, thanks for the raid, I really do super appreciate it. Just finished the last, last but one chapter. Oh, I'm so excited for you. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. Are you? I'm assuming you guys are enjoying the game since you've decided to come raid us <laughs> as we're also playing the game. Um, oh yeah, we do. Thank you for the uh, the follow to Fantasy. I super appreciate it. It's very nice of you. Um, we do offer. So like I said, I do mostly do uh, horror and mystery games. Um, if you guys ever need, um, to know what kind of content is in the games that we are playing, we offer content and trigger warnings for all of our games, as well as, um, the link to the game if it's available for purchase or download. Um, but yeah, if you guys have, uh, you've just been streaming for a while, I imagine, if you need to get up and stretch your legs, grab some snacks, get some water, do that. I'll be here for at least another 45 minutes or so. I usually stream for three hour blocks. <laughs> We're getting towards the end of ours, but we still got a long way to go. So if you need to take a short break, go for it. Do it. Totally understand. We'll be here when you get back. Um, but yeah, super wonderful to have y'all here. Um, and it's great. Wait, the games made you cry? That's precious. To be fair, I did. I definitely got a little emotional the first time I went through it. Um, it's very good. Oh, I'm glad that you're enjoying it and we're happy to have you here with us. <laughs> so welcome, get comfy, take care of your dang selves, and uh, enjoy. Let's see. Um, I see. Looks like we've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies. Based on that, seems like Mahiro also beat that game. Why do you know that? I don't know. If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Um, <laughs> that's fair. Some of the characters, like, are just, I don't like at all, but the ones that you do get attached to, you just, you just want everything to be okay for them. <laughs> Mama! Fantastic! I love it when my kitty cat is, is wet. <laughs> Gotta be careful about how I said it. I have cats. I do have cats, um, as you can tell from our lovely little background back here. Um, my main baby, Lamia, super wonderful and fantastic. She likes to dip herself in her water bowl, though, um, and it's miserable when she wants attention immediately after doing so. Because it's like, no, I'm sorry, Lamia. You are drenched. I'm not picking you up. Literally half her body. <laughs> Great. You're a monster, Llama. Um... Yeah, we're all worried about all the characters all the time. It's not great. She's not. She's not gonna come up. You're too wet. You're a beast. <laughs> she is a. She's a goon. Love her. Um, because she beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game, <laughs> just like what we're doing right now. Still, but in her case, it was much more serious, probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that uh, she was involved in that game. That's true. Mm -hmm. But I'm surprised. I never thought my hero would play that game. It's true. That was unexpected. Nagito, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Awesome! We appreciate the lurk, but like I said, go take care of yourself. Food, water, all that good stuff is very, very important, especially like immediately after streaming. It's a lot of work. <laughs> but we'll be here. Huh? Hmm? What? I remember her. Anyway, what happened to Mahiru? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? Oh, I wonder. Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. Oh, me. Tempt? That's a rude thing to say. No, that's wrong. That's disrespectful toward Mahiru. Isn't that right? There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. 
At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little it's push. Obvious. That's all it was! What, what the heck? Well... But more importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's being quiet as ever. Counting on you, Hyoko. Hey. If my hero spoke to everyone who appeared in the game, she should have talked to you too, right? Well, Hyoko? <laughs> <laughs> she never talked to me at all. That's weird. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Hi. So, I'm just gonna go back to my cottage now. Uh, hey, Hyoko! Ignoring my voice, Hyoko ran through- uh, ran away as though she were avoiding me. <laughs> Looks like it's okay to say she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided? Regardless, it looks like we're finished here, so why don't we part ways for now, please? And thank you! Never. Bye! Bye! <laughs> There's still something I need to investigate. I'll see you again later. I don't ever want to see you ever again, Nagito, actually. Probably. Please, never, never come back. What the heck is his problem? Even his exit was pushy. Chiaki, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime, but let's go over Mahiru's cottage first. Okay. Mahiru's cottage? If she beat that game, it's best if we investigate there, I think. See? She might have that. Oh, the ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Mm, uh... <laughs> that's your cue to say yes. <laughs> Will not. Unacceptable. Alright, back to the hotel we go. Get some points as we run around. Oh, probably not. <laughs> it's I don't been think dead like all the game. Yeah, I don't think we've uh Nope, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Straight up forgot that that was a mechanic. Yeah, it's yeah, still it dead. Pooped in... <laughs> it pooped everywhere and died. <laughs> what a life. <laughs> I did what my on my first playthrough, I like was checking it constantly and it was just so much work that like for subsequent playthroughs, I just Straight up ignore it. It's just gonna stay there dead the entire time. It made me really anxious, and like all I would get would be snakes. <laughs> I remember. Only snakes. I remember that. Oops, all snakes. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. The door looks unlocked. Moving after you're told would be a third or would be two third rate, so I made sure to be one step ahead. However, removing what's inside is a huge no no. There are others who want to investigate too. Guess I should go inside. Just ignoring Monokuma entirely. No thank you. Oh hey, look. It's a Monokuma plush. Compared to my room, the cottage had a somewhat pleasant smell wafting through uh, throughout the air. That proves Mahiru was here. Excuse That's me? Creepy. Right? Uh, Hajime? <laughs> but she's not coming back. Um, then I should. See? Try looking for a naughty book. Excuse me? Why? Yep. Now, now, I was only kidding. <laughs> kidding? Are you that kind of person? Jeez. Well, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Wait, could that be the reason she said that? See? But it looks like we don't need to search for it. Check out that thing on top of the bed. On top of the bed? Yeah, but first we'll grab this, because if I see it, I have to get it. No. <laughs> okay, just poking around. Seeing what, what there is to see. There's an envelope on top of the bed. Hey, hey. Could it be? This might be it. The ending prize Monokuma gave to the first person to beat the game. Um, that's, uh, what's inside the envelope? Let's find out. I turned over the envelope and what came falling out was 
A few photos. Ah, this photo. Oh, dang! The this stockings. is. <laughs> I want them. I actually used to have a pair like that. Way back in the day. A photo of Mikon, Ibuki, and Hyoko in what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. It's just like that game. What? Yummy. Oh. <laughs> there was a similar scenario during the first day in Twilight's tradition. Girl B was in a bad mood because Girl A was late, and Girl B tried to cheer her up by taking her picture. Is this the photo she took? Ah! Look at this photo, too. A broken vase. Mm -hmm. Is that the same photo Girl B showed Girl E on the third day? As I recall, Broken Boss was in the classroom next to the music room. E. But still, but this photo is more shocking. As Chiaki showed the photo to me, I was stunned into silence. Sorry, I was looking at that for a second. Um, it's fine. This is an actual photo of a dead body. Wait, it's me. <laughs> no, it's There's a yet. piano it's behind the body. It looks like it's in the music room. That's the case. Could this be the photo of the first victim? I'll go back, Travis. You mean it's the victim of the murder that occurred on the first day? Oh. Yeah, the one they blamed on a pervert. High school girl's crime scene photo. Body is still dead. Yep. Yep. Still dead. <laughs> um, and one more. This is the last photo. Ugh. Hmm. This is probably the photo of girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. Um, I mean, it nearly matches her body in the game. I like how they have, like, a real body for the game picture. But, uh, but a drawn one for... Yeah. The real thing. You know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> There's no mistake. This is a photo of Girl E. Girl E's crime scene photo. Hmm. With that, we finished looking at all the photos. So, based on all these photos... Yep. Yeah, it seems pretty clear. This is the ending prize. This is the ending prize for beating Twilight, and what's depicted in these photos proves the Twilight Syndrome murder case is based on an actual murder. Does, does that mean that stuff about our memories being stolen... Is there something else? See? There's a note inside the envelope. Try playing Twilight Syndrome. After you get a game over, press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you all did to my sister. We'll talk then. Th this note? Wait. Time out. Aww. Maybe the first person to beat the game and receive the ending prize wasn't Mahiru. Someone else sent this to Mahiru, and that person is the one who actually received the ending prize. Mahiru wasn't just lured there by Nagito, she also received this envelope. Yep. And that's why she played that game, right? Then, the person who played this game first... This envelope looks very familiar. And the word sister written on this note... Based on these clothes, I can't think of anyone other than him. 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 Mm. Him. Hey, hey. <laughs> yep. I'm glad we came here to investigate. Because we did that, we discovered a very important clue. Yeah, I agree. But there's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed Mahiru, but there's not much time left. I need to hurry. 
I'm just gonna dance to the music over here. Don't mind me. Woo! <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Hajime and Chiaki, what a coincidence. If something happens twice, there are times the charm, so they say... What coincidence? Are you a stalker or something? No, no. Don't say that. I was just thinking about filling you in on the results of my investigation. Results? Did you find something? Bow to me. I'll let you know if you drop to your knees and lick my shoes. Huh? <laughs> just kidding. I was joking. It didn't sound like a joke to me. Actually... Well, it's about the footprints. The killer left their footprints in the front in front of the beach house, right? Did did you find out whose footprints those are? <laughs> if you want to know, I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. With you? Of course you'll come with me, right? I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, but if I can get a clue... What are you going to do, Chiaki? Hmm. I'm going to try to talk to Fuyuhiko and see if he can tell me anything. So, so, I'll leave this to you. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. If someone like me tried to talk to him, it'd be impossible, but it might be different with a girl. Just be careful that he doesn't get rough with you. <laughs> yep. I guess this is where we part. I'll see you later, Hajime. <laughs> Just completely ignoring Nagito what? again. Yep. Huh? Did you actually want her to stay? Actually, what do you mean? Bye now. Let's go. I'll go on ahead to the beach house and wait there. Nagito, it's not that I wanted Chiaki to stay, it's that I didn't want you to stay. <laughs> I'm cool with anyone else. I hate Nagito, obviously, if we couldn't tell. Fucking hate. Yeah. Almost as much as annoying. Emmy hates hates me running. It's well, I don't mind the running, it's just the fast running. It's so it's bad. scary. Where am I going? Beach house. Beach, That's in the second. You wanna go to the beach, beach? God damn it. Mickey Vindage. <laughs> Fucking hell. This isn't where the beach house is. Yes, it is. There no! it is. Sorry, I just needed to get there. Emmy, don't make me oh. walk everywhere. <laughs> You're running! You're always running! Yeah, but I'm not running fast enough! Also, look who it is! It's been a minute since we've seen Gundam. We still haven't seen Nekamaru, though. I was right. Hmm? What happened? I already assumed yeah. you would come here. There's nothing you can hide from me. The Supreme Overlord who wields the four dark devas of destruction! Thus I know everything. For instance, I happen to know you fiends I can see it. were preoccupied with your infantile beach play. The collective it matters not, the but world. what I love is silence and solitude. That's right. That's it. That's precisely it. He's just upset no one invited him! Yeah. <laughs> oh, my boy! I see. So he wanted to be yeah. invited, too. <laughs> Why did the hug? I wish. I... <laughs> Someone just needs to invite him. Kazumichi, why didn't you invite Gundam? He sucks. He did it bad. It's true. He also knows that Gundam is. Uh... Oh, I can't say. I can't necessarily say Gundam is a competition because there's no competition when it comes to Kazuichi. Everyone's no. better than him. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's try going inside. <laughs> My poor sweet Gundam. My. Nagito? Whoa! Whoa! Why the hell are you here? Hello there. Why, hello there, Kazuichi. Thanks for going easy on me earlier. Thanks to you, I was able to walk away with just mild bruising. You clearly think like an ultimate. What the heck? Ugh, this bastard. Um, you two have arrived at a good time. Big news. Big news. I've discovered something very terrible. Oh, yeah, I forgot she was off researching something. A terrible discovery. Um, Excuse me. Um, not only that, I believe it's nothing like Sonya's, but there's something I noticed too. You too, Mikon? <laughs> yep, this is great. It looks like the investigation is reaching its boiling point. Okay, let's start with Sonya. Big news. Listen, I have big news. <laughs> Huge, huge news. 
Her determined face is also very good. <laughs> What's the big news? See? Remember that Sunwitch Esper Edo mask that was next to Mahiru's body? Yeah, I see it right now. Oh, the mask the killer used to hide their face? Listen. No, that is not correct. According to the encyclopedia. <laughs> that is not correct. <laughs> that mask was not just used to hide their face. Then what was it for? Well, sparkling justice. Yes! It's finally here. We're waiting. finally here. We've been waiting all this time. <laughs> yes! Sparkling Justice is a serial killer and a self-professed ally of justice whose name makes mankind shudder. Ah! Sorry. All right, they we're wear... good. Oh. Oh. They wear a hero mask at all times. Supposedly, they are a serial killer who only murders other criminals. So it's Dexter. That is an order. Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need to be surprised. <laughs> hey. <laughs> sparkling justice! <laughs> this sparkling justice character. That's the serial killer who you were talking about before, right? It's true that the mask we found is a hero mask, but... Wow. It is a heroine mask, to be precise. Why are you doing heroin with this mask? <laughs> Sorry. That's a bad joke. Sorry. I, I apologize. <laughs> so did- so did Jody. <laughs> also, Sorry. Panda! Hello! Hi! How's it going? Hi, Panda! <laughs> Alright. Now that my bad drug jokes are over. <laughs> okay. Sunwitch Esper Ito is a pretty witch girl. <laughs> We're doing really good! It's been a wacky wild stream. It's been fantastic so far. But how are you doing? How's it going? See? A heroine! Anyway... A anyway, so you're saying it's possible that the serial killer is the one who killed Mahiru? Mm -hmm. Which means there's a serial killer hiding among us. I'm pretty sure I've seen a twist like this in some video game. This is stupid. Serial killer my ass. The killer just used it to cover their face! Oh, I'm sorry you're not feeling too hot. Hope you're doing everything you can to take care of yourself and that you're taking it easy. That's weird. I wonder what you, I wonder. <laughs> but even so, they sure chose something that stands out. That might be true, but however, although it's easy to write this off as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. Sonia, can you tell me everything you know about this so-called sparkling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. <laughs> The hell? Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me! Sparkling justice! <laughs> Sorry. Alright, every time. It gets me every time. Every fucking time! What- what the heck was that? Well, that is Sparkling Justice's catchphrase. <laughs> what? An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase? Do you have a minute? I read it in a magazine in the library. <laughs> there has only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. <laughs> the article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. However... However, in the end, that journalist was punished by sparkling justice, too. God, you gotta, you gotta say it the right way every time. Yeah. No it's good. The name. <laughs> it's sparkling justice. <laughs> no good can come from getting involved with a serial killer. The serial killer might not want to hear that from you. Um, um this is all I know about sparkling justice. Thanks to the masks, nobody knows their true age or gender, making them a very mysterious individual. Hey, isn't that kind of a stretch to say that there's a serial killer hiding in our group? Listen! No, it does not mean they are in our group. It is possible the serial killer was lurking on this island all along before they decided to murder Mahiru. 
Well, that's probably not possible. I... but that is the only thing I can think of. I mean, no matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Ugh. That one of us is capable of committing such a horrible murder. It's not that bad, honestly, compared to some of the other yeah. ones we've seen. It's fine, Sonya, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it is no fine. No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. S Sonya, I do... I do understand Sonya's feelings, but... It's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island. <laughs> Alright, Mikan, what do you gotta say? Mikan, you had something to say, right? Uh, well, compared to the others, what I have to say isn't that important. So, please don't get your hopes up and be disappointed. I... I get it, so just get on with it. Um, I tried my best to perform the autopsy and I was able to find out... Mahiru was definitely killed by a blow to the head. She was probably struck from behind by one blow. Based on the scar, the weapon is clearly the metal bat. But every dark cloud has a silver lining, as they say. Um, it looks like Mahiru didn't suffer. What does that mean? She died instantly, Hajime is what that means. Uh, um, there's no doubt that she died instantly. Her death was instant. That sounds... A little strange. I think I'd better remember that. Mikan's autopsy report. And there's another thing I found. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I started talking on my own. Were you busy right now? Just tell me. Well, um, during the autopsy, I discovered this in Mahiru's pocket. I was gonna tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30pm. Seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Hyoko Sionji. Sionji. Hyoko the dummy. Th this letter. <laughs> If this letter is real, it would mean Hyoko met up with Mahiru, right? Plus, Mahiru's estimated time of death was around 3pm, and they met 30 minutes prior. If we think about what that implies, then... Oh, I'm starting to get confused. If it's true, what does it mean? What happened between Mahiru and Hyoko? Oh, dang! Oh, Nagito, what do you want? Hey, tell me what you know already. Didn't you find out whose footprints those were? Actually, how were you able to find that out? I... After listening to everyone's stories at the airport, I went to a certain place. Well, it's probably better to say I snuck in. <laughs> to everyone's cottages. Everyone's cottages? Yep. I told Monokuma I needed access for the investigation, so he simply let me in. That bastard. He did something shady again. But why did I do something like that? Well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. Nakito squatted down near the entrance to the beach house and began to spread some papers he was holding. See? Come on, Hajime, take a look. After all, I went to all the trouble of gathering gathering all this. Those footprints. I see, so the reason you snuck inside everyone's cottages was... Yep. That's right. I wanted to get a sample of everybody's footprints. I don't know what you're talking about, Emmy. It seems perfectly fine to me. <laughs> he just wanted to get close to everyone's feet. It's fine. But unfortunately, Fuyuhiko wouldn't leave his cottage, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. It seems obvious that the footprints belong to this person. Whose footprints are they? Yep. Hyoko Sayonji. Hyoko's? Well... To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. She shut herself inside her cottage, remember? If she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak Perhaps. in. So I figured if I lured her out, she wouldn't be in a hurry to go back to her cottage. You're treating her like a small animal. <laughs> but it was totally worth it. The footprint I collected there was smaller than anyone else's and matched the footprints at the beach house. Yep, there's no mistake. These are Hyoko's footprints. Aw, dang. Um... Also, it's not like I was snooping around or anything, but I found something really interesting at her cottage. Something interesting? See? 
I found a lot of these candies inside her room. That's... They're gummy candies that come in four different flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. It's like she got it from... Or it looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently she really likes this brand of gummies. There should be... Uh, there should have been uh, other gummy brands, but she only brought home a bunch of these. <laughs> people are like that sometimes. There are people who only eat the same brand, even if it's just potato chips. What's wrong with that? Well, it's not clear if this relates to the incident, but I thought I should tell you just in case. Just in case. Coming from this guy, that means it probably greatly relates to the incident. Gummy bag. Now I want gummy bears. Same. Also, ding dong, bing bong. Ding dong, uh, bing bong. Ding dong, bing bong. A ding dong, bing bong? Ding dong, bing bong. The time for unparalleled <laughs> hedonism has come to an end. Excuse me? Come. Now is the time to fight the decisive battle! Devo! The hostility of fresh blood, the insanity of a contest of wit! The class trial is finally raising its curtain! <laughs> Thank you, Abby. Also, that was weird. Devo was meowing as Lily was meowing. They're, they're communicating. So meet up in front of Monokuma Rock! All Once right. you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. Let's go! I'll see you soon! Now then. Looks like it's time. I guess the investigation is over. So it's finally starting. The class trial where our hopes and the killer's hope will finally clash. <laughs> but it's alright! Either way... Hope will win in the end! Alright! Now then, let's go prove it. Shut up, oh, what's he so excited about? There's no reason to respond to a guy like that anyway. We should start heading over now, Sploosh. No! <laughs> no! At the trial field where Monokuma is waiting, I have to make my case there. There's no escape. There's no escape. We have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let us go. As we talked among ourselves, we left the beach house and Mahiru's body. Okay, we'll go to Monokuma Rock, we'll get to the save point, and we'll probably call it there, since there's only like 15 minutes left to stream anyway. But dang, that means we're gonna have the trial tomorrow, which is very Woo. exciting! Woo. Oh, sorry, I'm where I need to be to get to Monokuma Rock. <laughs> Oopsies. I was gonna ask who y'all think the killer is, but I think you and Jody both know who it is. Really? <laughs> yeah. And so, like, I don't know that anyone else in chat has a has an opinion. But if anyone has in chat has an opinion, who do y'all think is the killer? No! Let me go! Help me! He's gonna do something crazy to me! I'll be ruined! Why? Hey, shut up and stay put, you stubborn little Alita! Stop it! Hey, stop harassing little girls. No! <laughs> this, this is... What's going on? Jeez. There's Nekamaru! There he is. Hyoko was trying to run away, so Monokuma brought her here by force. But Hyoko's still trying to run away, so Monokuma's trying to wrap her up in a full Nelson. Yeah. Hey, if you don't stay put, I'm gonna put make you p a part of this island's food chain. <laughs> Jeez, make me waste my sweet ass time. But there's another problem to deal with besides this one. Where the heck is Fuyuhiko? That guy. He totally ditched. He totally ditched my appointment. He pisses me off. Ah! Ah! I forgot about this! <laughs> this monstrosity, though. Half Nelson, whole Nelson, or Willie Nelson? Whole Nelson. Oh. We need, we need to take David? a screenshot for Fruity. It's true. Fruity would hate it, though. Even better. <laughs> Oh, his anger changed his form! I'm right here. Hmm? Uh-huh! There you go. Screenshot taken. Ah, oh, Fuyuhiko, you came. I was worried about you. 
<laughs> There's nowhere for me to run anyway. So no matter what the ending, I have to accept it, right? Absolutely. Also, yeah, all the Nelsons all at once. So many Nelsons. <laughs> but still. Bastard! I'm a Yakuza. Accepting defeat is not an option. Ah, uh, dang! For you, Hiko, what does that mean? Hmm. Well, it's all good. If the trial heats up, it's all anyway. good. Anyway, looks like everyone's here, so let us depart See now. Ya, I'll go first and be one step ahead of you guys. This is bad. Crap, I'm not mentally prepared yet. Do you even have to prepare? Show some spirit. If you don't have enough power, harness your latent energy. Come on, bring out that energy! This too must be the will so it begins. Of the beginning of the end. <laughs> Now then, let's keep our spirits high so we can one day find that shining hope. <laughs> That's right. I can only... Moving forward is the only option. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Roar! <laughs> That's how it's got to sound. I don't make the rules. You're so evil. Eek. No matter how many times I see it, it's <laughs> such bad taste. The worst, the lowest, most brutal taste. We love it. <laughs> Somehow I moved my muscles, stiff from fear and nerves, and awkwardly walked onto the escalator. For some reason, my breathing was short, and I was eventually struck by the feeling similar to dizziness. The moment all of us were inside Monokuma Rock... I mean, escalators are scary, I get it. They are. I hate escalators. A rumbling sound filled the room, and the surrounding space began to fall. It's not looking empty just yet. As it shook with a clatter, the elevator were, uh, we were inside continued to drop. Throughout that drop, I was fluctuating between feeling hope and despair. As if my heart was a rotten fruit, swelling in the sun before it finally goes squish. <laughs> I suddenly stopped breathing. And then the elevator just drops completely. My consciousness began to fade from the pressure. I tried to endure that pressure by firmly standing on my legs. And after a while, the elevator's vibrations gradually weakened. And then it stopped altogether. Oh, we got a beach scene today. Aim! Defeat! <laughs> God damn it. Every time. Gotta go to the beach, beach. Defeat the boring routine. So, I've decided to start redecorating. How's it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? Impossible! It's not like I'd allow you to think otherwise anyway. That is, <laughs> to go to the trouble of doing something like this, uh, this elaborate, really, what is your true intention? Just redecoration. No, no. Nothing, really. Essentially, this killing game is just to kill time anyway. You. Kill time? Yeah to break away from my purpose. That alone is my purpose. Whether <laughs> they actually go Why? to hell. <laughs> I mean... Seems like this elevator runs deep enough, honestly. A purpose is only gonna be a weakness. Those who have purpose are always the weakest ones in the bunch. That's why you guys should forget about such cheap-ass purposes like trying to survive. <laughs> and enjoy the class trial from the bottom of your heart. It's starting. The class trial is starting. Mahiro, Koizu uh, Mahiro Koizumi ultimate photographer she had an unyielding force of personality but she was actually very good at taking care of people no, you've said <laughs> i was gonna say you said this before it's a lie it's incorrect hajime and most importantly she was always straightforward the person that killed her oh, dang. is among us i don't want to believe it i don't want to believe it i don't want to believe it but Regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Because it's the only way. Aside from finding out who the killer is, there's no other way. For us to survive, 
And so, this life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. Yes, I would like to save my current progress. Yes, I would like to overwrite. Um, and that's where we'll stop for right now. I'm gonna... I'll deal with the, the computer freezing after I exit Danganronpa after the fact. Um, because DGR hates me. But hey, y'all got... You got... 24 hours to come up with who you think who you think the killer is and how they did it. Hey. <laughs> um who done it? Got to figure it out. Who done it? Who did the thing? Who did the murder? Um but yeah, that's all we got for today. Ended at a very good time. I love it when uh those things line up very well. It was definitely terror terror. You got it in one. Good job. 100% absolutely did it correct um but yeah that's the that's the stream that we got for you today let's uh go ahead and set up a raid figure out who to go hang out with um do we want to if twitch would like to load up so i can see all, who all is online um oh my god all right it's not wanting to but yeah does anybody have any suggestions for who we can raid or should we try and see if one of our friends are on uh, the only people I've currently got on are Queer Company, doing some Divinity Original Sin. Simu is playing some Slay the Spire. Lexus Rambles is doing some Back for Blood. And Asuvius is doing some Final Fantasy XIV. Um, otherwise, we can f go visit a new friend. We can find somebody. I don't necessarily want to find somebody else who's doing Danganronpa since we're still super early in. Um, but, uh, yeah. If we're all chill with it, we can go hang out with Simon. We haven't raided, uh, we haven't raided them in a while. It's been a minute. And Slay the Spire is a fun game. Super mellow. Well, more mellow than Danganronpa. There's a lot less screaming involved. <laughs> Alright, let's go hang out with Simu. Um, as always, thank y'all for being here. Being awesome, wonderful, lovely, darling people. Um, we'll be back tomorrow at 6pm Central to end end this trial it's gonna be great um for those of you in the discord we will also be doing a movie tomorrow at noon also thank you Amy, for getting those raid messages up if you're gonna raid with us there are our raid messages the first one is for subs so you can use our emotes second one is for anyone um in case you don't have our emotes um that's about all i got for you go hang out with our friend simu watch him slay the spire we'll see y'all next time take care i love you have a great night